Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of Nerd Up. This week, I got Dalton Anthony. Yo. Lacey Gray. Yes. And making her glorious return to Podzilla 1985 after months of absence, Mandy Kennedy. Hi. <laughs> She's finally back and on a comic book heavy episode, unfortunately for her. That's okay. It felt so long. I was like, I have to go and I finally can tonight. I'm really, I'm really happy to see you. I and really am. Next I've, month, I've missed you a lot. Everything should be better and I should get to do more shows. Woo. Let not if not you're not <laughs> if you're breaking our stuff. <laughs> not let me unplug that. Yeah, she's gonna just gonna break everything real quick. No big deal. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Back. Goodbye to all your stuff. <laughs> this three minute Podzilla 1985 episode was brought to you by Mandy Kennedy's Rage and Breaking. She's just decided no. that if she can't be on the shows, there will just be no there shows. No <laughs> shows anymore. <laughs> but you were coming back. So, John Wick Chapter 4 yes. has been announced for 2021. Yes. It's going to be good. Apparently, it will be uh, competing with, because it's, uh, it's supposed to be like right around the same time as uh, Taika Waititi's live action Akira movie. It's also going to be, uh, it's going to be May 21st, 2021 for that one. So I assume didn't, that... Did they not just make an Akira movie that was live action? No. No. What am I thinking of then? Uh, Ghost in the Shell? No. No, like it came out like this year. Mm, no. Uh, not that I know of. I don't know what I'm thinking of. I don't think any have come out this year. Not in, not any like from American directors. or Well, I say American. Taika Waititi is not American. He's a Kiwi. Right, not a Taika Waititi. Like, didn't they just make an Akira movie? Like I don't that came out like months ago. Like, didn't you see it? <laughs> Are you googling it? No, no, I don't know. I don't. Oh. Know. I don't know what was I'd there, be looking for. <laughs> was there an anime movie that came out this year? Not this year. Uh, we had Full Metal Alchemist last year. No. Uh, Ghost in the Shell was, was last year too, I right? They made an Akira movie. It was last year or year before. And then there's Death Note. Uh, I think they have made it, and like they've made obviously there's the anime. No, because it was it was it was a it was a movie movie. Like, because I thought it looked stupid. Even though it had like uh it oh the dude from Inglorious Bastards, the, uh, Christoph Waltz was in it. Uh. Ooh, thank you for the name though. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Alita. Alita. Right? Yeah, Alita. Okay. Alita. Sorry. Thank you. I I forgot that was a manga first. No, yeah, you're right. I enjoyed that movie quite a bit, and it did have Christoph Waltz in it. Okay. Okay. So I'm not crazy crazy. I just no, you're got not crazy. Alita. Uh, Alita Akira. That's that that's crossed fair. my brain. Yeah. yeah no, I, brain. I got it. I got it. I ain't uh, one of them yeah. weebs, I don't know. Why are we spend? We shouldn't be talking about this. We should be just talking about, like, no one cares about Akira. John Wick 4. Because if you've seen the end of John Wick 3, you're going to be real excited for John Wick 4. Soon. I, uh, oh, I need to my see... My God. I need to see John Wick 3. I we, was going to see it... Do. too. I was going to see it yesterday. So, basically, this weekend, I didn't realize that Brightburn also came out this weekend. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yesterday, I was going to see Aladdin. And, like, you know, for the you know, the, the cheap showing in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um... None of them were like they only had two early morning shows yesterday, and they were both just about packed, and I had no interest in them. Yeah. Uh, and then they only had like one early showing for John Wick and one early showing for Brightburn, and uh, I think like the the Brightburn one was a little after eight a.m. and I was like, because eh, at at the time that I was looking, it was two. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh no, two in the morning. Yeah, it was two <laughs> in the morning when I was looking yeah. at it. So I was like, I'm not going to an eight a.m. showing. Uh, and it was the same thing with John Wick. It was a, it was like an 8 a.m. showing, too. So it was like, whip. So then I ended up seeing Aladdin this morning, and then tomorrow I've got to pick between John Wick Chapter 3 and Brightburn because I want to see both of those movies. I still haven't seen Detective Pikachu either. I'm so far behind. I can't believe you haven't seen Detective Pikachu. I'm buying a house. <laughs> <laughs> and? It's got lots of money. It does. Movie theaters are cheap now if you go early in the morning. Not do, when you're bringing you know three I people. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Mike's already seen it, but he's like, I'll go again. You want to go see it, Mom? I'll go again. You want to see it? Did you see it yet? Did you <laughs> see it? I'm like, mm. No, you got a little Jesse Kimball to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> like, mm, child? Because the answer is yes. But, yeah, if you see it anytime, like, you know, not in the early showing, uh, all three people can see it for about the same price that one person can in the later showing. Or there's still the Tuesdays. Are they still five dollar Tuesdays? Yeah, yep. five dollar Tuesdays. And if you have the rewards card or whatever, you get a soda and a popcorn. 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 <clears throat> uh, but yeah, those days I hate going Tuesdays though because they are always packed. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm always trying to think packed. if they do like the students, if it's just college students, if they'll do it for student students on Thursdays too. I think it's like six dollars on Thursdays. Thursdays that, it's college students. Yeah. It's only okay. I was like, I know it's students, but. I don't know if uh, like, high school students might be able to get away with it. I doubt they're that strict with it. If you have a student ID, you get the discount, I think. Yeah. I could probably go in there with my student ID and get the discount. Oh, you most <laughs> certainly can because I have bought them online. 
to be like the the discount, and I didn't show an ID or anything whenever I picked up my tickets. Nice. And it's not like they asked for like That's one of those things. Like, I wonder if I could just mark senior. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm buying a senior ticket, and if and if the, if and if, if the 17 year old ta- like tearing the ticket even notices, <laughs> almost That's, certainly would. They're probably just looking at the. The theater number. Right. They actually could see, like, because they do look at it because they check, like, you know, the movie and then they check at least the theater number you're in, like Mandy said. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So, like, they look at it and, like, and then they hand it to you, like, this theater, and then they're like, no, wait a minute. (laughs) (laughs) Or he he already walks away and they're putting, like, his half down, like, where'd he go? (laughs) (laughs) Into the crowd. Yeah. (laughs) Smoke bomb. Disperse. Just oh yeah, sat, full Assassin's Creed on it. <laughs> just disappear into the crowd. Because those definitely them. don't have the theater it's number a, or seat number anymore. It's a yeah. classic Assassin's technique. Speaking of Assassins, John Wick 4. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh boy. It's going to be real good. I'm just give me a John Wick movie every other year until the sun consumes the earth. I mean, we, we've said it. Like, we, that exact comment was said last time. I know. And, and the exact it bears repeating. Is that Keanu Reeves is immortal, so it can happen. Exactly. <laughs> give it to me forever. But you'll, so have, you'll just have to hope that uh, that that technology comes through, so you can live as long as Keanu and continue to watch them. Oh no, I mean, I like I'm fine with just passing in the in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> like it's the last one that's coming out, and then just like he midway dies, through, you die with him. Oh no, I'm so he's like he's eternal. Like they they don't no, kill John. No, like Wick. not can't John. Basically, Rick. credits roll, and then mm-hmm. Ace is like, what, what it was, was a good I one. I just called him John Rick. <laughs> yes, you did. I know I did. Because I was thinking Keanu Reeves. So you went John Rick. John Rick. John no, I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> I don't. Somehow that sounds racist. Like I'm not completely <laughs> sure. Like, apple pi- you apple picker. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Kit Kat. That was another one that I've heard from mm, a joke yeah. like that. Uh, but anyway, so uh, other movies cut with release dates and stuff. Sonic got pushed back. Thank God. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it got pushed back to February 14th, 2020. Happy Valentine's Day, gang. There the perfect go. date. Mary. The most romantic <laughs> setting. <laughs> the Sonic fa- movie. <laughs> <laughs> but with a terrible <laughs> message for the weekend. Uh, or maybe perfect. You know, you you want to take that relationship to the next step <laughs> real fast. That's not what uh, Asa was meaning. No, First I date. know exactly yeah. what Asa was meaning. First date, let's move in together. <laughs> Second day shows up with the wall. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, you got pushed back, which good. Thank, because for we those of you somehow it. out of the loop, uh, the move like they're redoing Sonic entirely because you know Sonic looked bad, <coughs> and they're like the fans, Look you know, horrendous. were very vocal about it, so they didn't stick to their guns on this one. Good on them. They're like, you know what? Fine. The fans think he looks terrible. Then let's go ahead and redo him. They got cyber bullied into correcting the movie. <laughs> Finally, the internet has done good. Mm-hmm. So, okay. yeah, unfortunately, they gave those animators extra time to do this as opposed to like, nah, man, we gave you the deadline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's not our fault we ignored. It's not our fault we ignored all of your criticisms and concerns that you brought up. Mm-hmm. Just make it good now. Yep. It's fine. You've got four months. You can do this. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, now they've got, you know, an extra four months on there. So, good. Um, so, it's a, a, little bit of, a little bit of DC news. Ezra Miller and Ray Fisher, uh, which is Flash and Cyborg, their WB contracts expire this month. <laughs> That's a bummer. So, I mean, they could still be renewed, mm-hmm. but it's just the state of the WB DC universe. Worlds of DC. That both of them were supposed to get solo movies at this point. Uh, we're supposed to have had more than one, or at least one by this point. But yeah, before they could even get solo movies out, the original contracts are down. So did they just like, because aren't they still in production for Flash? Or has, gone did through, that ever started? It got scrapped again. Because okay. uh, like, I know it just kept getting like delayed. delayed. Yeah, because they, well, they kept, I say scrapped, like it's ne- it never started filming. Okay. Uh, because they couldn't find a director they liked, still haven't as far as I know. Uh, and anytime they find a director, like they need a, they want to do a new script. Mm-hmm. So they've they've already gone through like several different stories they want to tell because there for a while, you know, the big new or the big uh, news out of it was they were going to do Flashpoint, mm-hmm. which real early in that universe to do a Flashpoint story, but you know whatever. Um, I guess they they ditched that idea, and now as far as I'm aware, they don't have a director or a script. So mm-hmm. all they've got is Ezra Miller. <laughs> Yikes! Poor guy. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I imagine like like I said, I I'm sure that they're gonna renew their contracts. Uh, but yeah, those two are out this month. Henry Cavill's contract is up this year. 
Uh, he's still under contract. I thought that was the, the whole, there was a big deal about him not being Superman anymore, like a year ago. Yeah, they couldn't uh, even get him for that cameo the, in Shazam. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know, maybe because I'm sure they just don't want to use him anymore because they know they're not going to renew the contract. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I don't know, man. This the worlds of DC is in shambles at the moment. Mm-hmm. I don't even think nineteen or Wonder Woman nineteen eighty four is going to be able to save them. It'll be a good movie. I mean, hopefully we at least still get it. Yeah, I was like, Uh I'm very confident that we are still going to get that movie. Yes. And it will be a fun action movie just like the first one was. It's going to be good. Uh, But I don't know what's going to happen after that. As long as I get my movie. I'm playing with those. We're going to get We're going to get like three more Aquaman movies and a couple more Wonder Woman movies. I fell asleep during that movie. Aquaman? Yeah. I still haven't seen it. I tried. It's fine. Is it? Yeah. It didn't seem bad, but I was also tired. So, like, it's way too long. Yeah. It's one of those, like, I liked Momoa as Aquaman. And, like, <laughs> Affleck as Batman was cool. I liked Henry. I was one of the few that really, really liked Henry Cavill as Superman. I think Henry Cavill is a fine Superman. The writing was the problem. Yeah, no one, no one, I don't think anyone disliked Henry Cavill as much as just, like... The movies. Yeah, and the whole, let's make Superman super dark and... Gritty yeah. and edgy and... But I... Broody. Let's, the, let's see if we can make Superman Batman, guys. But the one that I was most excited for out of like that entire casting was Ezra Miller as Flash. And the fact that I haven't gotten a solo movie really bums me out. Just watch the show. It's way better than it really anything is. that the movie well, I, I, and honestly, I like, all season one of Flash, and I liked it a whole lot. I, just, I haven't gone around to watching season two yet. But it's also one of those of, like, I get what you're saying, but I really like Ezra Miller, and I really wanted to see a so- solo movie. Like, it doesn't matter how good the TV show is. I, I still wanted that movie. I mean, I, I hear you. I'm just saying, like, there is a phenomenal consolation prize out there waiting for you. <laughs> no, all you have to do is well, turn off YouTube. And turn on <laughs> Netflix. No, it's on DC Universe, I'm pretty sure. Either yeah. one. Yeah, I, I don't know if it is, but regardless, you have, then you have, you have access ser- to both of them. Then you have two streaming services you could be watching it on. As long as you just... Because, yeah, Gra- Grant Gustin is, I think, a way better Flash than Ezra Miller. Agreed. But But they, they did the whole, like, the... They made him like kind of autistic, which in, uh, which was like because did Justice League come out around the same time as that Power Ranger movie? Yes, that did the yeah. exact same trope with the Blue Ranger, mm-hmm. where it's just like, oh no, he's socially awkward and he's a little off. Like he was good in the movie. There it's was just, like a six month difference between the two of them, but yeah, it was the yeah, same so, year for sure. But yeah, yeah I mean, so neither just, and neither of them were bad. It was just like it was one of those. It's things. A tr- like, it's a trope that they used that, uh, and it was a it was a choice they made that I was like, eh, I'm okay, I guess. Because I, I still liked Ezra Miller as Flash. It's just going for or going to that from Grant Gustin as Flash for the you know three seasons at that point. It's not a that's not a good follow up. That's not a good good following act. That's weird. It's not on DC Universe. <laughs> you think those shows would be on there? No, I think I, it's it, because they have a CW deal with has the deal CW. With Netflix. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so I would have been surprised if they were on the DC Universe. Regardless, you have a subscription to Netflix. I do have a Netflix subscription. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed that it was going to be on there. I was like, oh, yeah. You would no, think. I think those TV shows. Like, I, I get it. It's with the, the ne- with those network deals were already in place. Made. Before. That being said, super happy about the comic books being put on DC Universe, though, because whenever you first got, like, I was in the, like, opening week of it. Like, mm-hmm. I pre-ordered it, mm-hmm. and there was not poop when it came to comic books. It's like, no, I mean, they had stuff from the 70s. Yeah, like, they 70s sure through did. 90s. Or, like, they would have, like, the first three issues of, like, something from New 52. <laughs> like, you yeah, know, they, they were doing some, like, samples of greatest hits to get you to go out and buy the comic books or the trades or something. Yeah, from years ago. Yeah. Uh, they they have finally, like like I said, I've said it before, they made the, the step towards uh, the Marvel Unlimited where, you know, you get everything up to six months ago. Uh, but DC, this is a year, right? Yeah, it's everything up to a year ago for DC, and they're slowly but surely adding like huge chunks of comics to the service. And boy, Marvel Unlimited is just such a like that is such a way for me to like I'm reading so much more Marvel stuff than I w- I would have never read. Yeah, and I mean it's a solid way for anybody to get caught up. It's super cheap, and you have access to mm-hmm. literally everything that Marvel has ever published up to six months ago. And if you just use the go- Google to search for the stuff you're looking for, it's tolerable. <laughs> Because for some reason, like certain websites cannot figure out how to do a search engine. And Marvel Unlimited is their king. <laughs> I don't know. Have you tried the DC Universe search engine? No, I haven't been on. I mean, I haven't tried DC Universe. At That's all. probably the worst search engine I've so ever bad? used in my life. How is it so bad? I don't know. Because that Marvel Unlimited search engine is terrible. Like the search is just awful. Yeah, I, I really, I got nothing for you. I got mm-hmm. nothing for you. It's a phenomenal service. Mm-hmm. Minus that search engine, they just put no effort into that at all. <laughs> Mm-mm. Um, oh, do you want to see a creator highlight? No, this, I put a number. 
Take me to that exact issue. Well, here's the trade. Can I read the trade on Unlimited? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why then? All right. So, oh. so speaking of a uh, uh, very little effort, Terminator Dark Fate got a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this: one of my favorite things from the internet was because of that trailer. Yeah. And it was someone uh, trash talking like SJWs and like women in movies and stuff. And it's like, I mean, if you want to put a woman in an action movie, it's not like no one's going to care though because women are dumb. Like just some mouth breather opinion like that yeah and arnold schwarzenegger himself responded with you do know it's the same actress from the first movie <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. the original hero of the movie how that toe taste <laughs> oh they didn't care <laughs> they, they like, got their point across mm, like yeah i mean their their response likely was oh i didn't know arnie was one of the sjw's mm-hmm. and then they moved on with their Which, life bully to them to thinking that because you i'm afraid of arnold schwarzenegger still I mean, so he looked, no, like he at, the end, at he, the end of that trailer, he looked good. Like mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some CG involved uh, I'm there. I'm sorry. But did you see him get drop kicked and think that it was just a the, the crowd movement behind him? Somebody like tried attacking <laughs> no, I, him. And I he, heard about it, he, but he, I didn't like, see the video. Budged a little. Like yeah, like the camera looked like it got moved more than he did because it's just like there was some commotion and people like were dragging him away and then he like people were like oh are you okay and he was just on through like yeah I just thought there was like a commotion it's a big event people were just like the crowd was moving behind me yeah I mean because Arnie's no still a big kick. dude <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, he's, he's he's not a and he was he, oh, even in his like what is he's almost seventy now or is he seventies uh, yeah he's still just a big old dude mm-hmm. him and like. Sylvester Stallone both are still just giant men. I feel like Stallone's really short, though. Like, unlike Schwarzenegger, who's just... Schwarzenegger's not tall. He's, he's not? St- yeah, no. but Stallone's like, like a full-on Capullo character. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> yeah, he really is. True. I mean, Stallone's like 6'1 or something like that. Like, I think he's my height, and then Arnie's like 6'3". Uh, I didn't think he was even that... I didn't think Stallone was even that tall. I'm pretty sure he's like my height. Uh, but yeah, and then... Yeah, like I said, Arnie is not much taller than me. Whoa! Sylvester Stallone is 5'10". Seriously? Yeah, so he's my height. Oh, wow, I thought he was taller than that. Also, uh, all I had to put in was Arnold, and I don't know if I have Googled this recently, but it just went straight to Arnold Schwarzenegger's age. Yeah, that was the number one. 71. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he is 6'2". He is 6'2", okay. Mm -hmm. So I was closer on him, I guess, than I was on... I could have sworn that uh, Stallone's taller. Yeah, regardless. um, It's... (laughs) Yeah, I guess it is one of those things... uh, Going back to like the Rocky three, whenever he gets in the ring with Hulk Hogan, oh, that's just really funny. All right, well Hogan's like six, 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 eight, so like yeah, he's real tall. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that, was, that was just one of my favorite scenes in the cinema. Hogan walking through the crowd as Thunder Lips, like towards the boxing ring. He just <laughs> military press slams him out of the ring. Man, that movie was dumb. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, I mean, it's every Rocky movie. Oh, no, I love Rocky movies, too. It's just one of those, like, man, those movies are dumb. But anyway, going back to Dark Fate. So, uh, yeah, we do have, like, Arnie and the original actress for Sarah Connor back. Uh, definitely looks, you know, action-packed everything. James Cameron's <laughs> also back for the movie. It's looking like, uh, my understanding is they're doing a true sequel to Terminator 2. Cool. As yeah. opposed to, like, you know, they're kind of ignoring all the other movies since T2. Good call. Um, kind of pulling you know, that that's been a popular trend lately. Like we got that with Halloween. Um, uh, the other movies, it's happened. Mm-hmm. I, I know that's happened. With no, but the big, the big one is Terminator because like they, I thought they, I thought the movie they did before this also did that. Well, that one, that one talked about like alternate like reality yeah, timelines or something like that. It was very different. I haven't seen a Terminator movie since three, so uh, uh, I don't have really a horse. That's fine. Terminator three is bad. Genesis is not Genesis. Salvation, Salvation is, is, is a dumpster terrible. fire. And then Genesis is a solid movie, but you'd be just twitching the whole time because of the time. It's all time travel. Yeah. yeah. Because it, it talks about, yeah, alternate timelines and time loops all in one. And it's just not great. I am excited for this one though. Yeah, also, I, mean, I don't know if I said it out loud because what I searched was wrong, but it's not Linda Carter. It's Linda Hamilton. I don't think you ever said her name. Okay. So, just, just in case, just in case is. I screwed yeah. that up. It's and we've also got a female Terminator uh, <laughs> that might not be entirely Terminator in this one because it looks like there's just a new girl that's going to be the Messiah that needs to be protected, and that's what they're doing is protecting her. Uh, and yeah, I guess there's another Terminator already there doing it, and Sarah Connor shows up to help out. Uh, we have we don't have any other detail than that. Uh, it was a really neat looking like action sequence in the uh, trailer, though. I want 
Linda Hamilton walking towards the Terminator, shooting with a shotgun, and every shot just one hand cocking it, and then going back and forth. That's like one of the coolest scenes in movie history to me. Are you doing the 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 T two like yeah the T two uh, on the motorcycle? Boom. <laughs> no, no, it was Linda. It wasn't. Oh, oh no, I no, no, you know, yeah, yeah no, she about. shoot, okay. take one hand, yeah, and then go back and sh- that was. Bad word I can't say because we're on nerd up. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah I've gotten I thought, better. I thought you were talking about like the uh, no. Whenever he spin, yeah, like, whenever he's like spinning that's also the pretty cool. See, yeah. All right, so the Terminator movies, like maybe that's my Fast and Furious. Terminator One and Terminator Two are or, amazing yeah. movies. <laughs> they are really good. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to watch those before watching because like I watch still G- hold up. I watched T Two like two years ago. Yeah, it's, it's one of those still like a great movie. I watched Genesis because I honestly don't think I've ever watched Salvation. Because I didn't like three. (laughs) Uh, I didn't like three. I loved the first two. Genesis was okay, but I didn't watch the first two before it to like really give me the ground of being like, all right, this is what I like in these movies. Let's see. And I thought it was fine. I will have to watch it for the new one, though. Because I love... Oh, Salvation? No, no, no. To watch what's Terminator 1 and Terminator... Oh, the new one. Uh, Yeah, I'll uh, need to see one and two before seeing the new one. Gotcha. Dark Fate. Thank you. Uh, Just call it T4 and make me happy. (laughs) <laughs> this is what it really is, guys. Or, yeah, or we could just call it T3 because I think they're pretending that doesn't happen either. T3 for real this time, guys. Because it's it's a true... <laughs> my understanding is it's supposed to be a direct sequel from Terminator 2. T2.5. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm fine with that. Though. I'm fine with them ignoring every other movie that's come out. Yeah. That's Genesis entirely fine, fine with me. But... Yeah, no, Genesis was like an entertaining movie. I enjoyed watching I don't like, it. I don't like crapping on that movie. It was good, but it was one of those like... Uh... But anyway... Uh, especially if you compare it to Salvation. Yeah. So Netflix got a did, a did their little like June teaser of shows they've got coming up. Uh, they had a little clip of Jessica Jones in there, so it's looking like Jessica Jones season three will be out sometime next month. Good. Uh, possibly in the first half of next month. They did a similar thing with how they revealed Punisher first. I'm sure we'll get an actual trailer uh, here in the next. I would say in the next week or two, mm-hmm. and then yeah, we'll probably get that'll have us the date. Oh, please don't suck. Agreed. Please, don't I really suck. need it to not suck. I don't want them to go out on like Punisher season two level mm-hmm. quality. Because boy, I wish that were better. Yeah, yeah. Especially because, right. like I, I've said it before, but the second season of Jessica Jones is probably my favorite of the season Netflix. of the ne- of any of the Netflix stuff they've put out. It was phenomenal. I loved like, it. Jessica Jones season one and season two like are both just like top notch, incredible stuff. Uh, yeah, like. I liked Daredevil season one and three a whole lot, but yeah, Jessica Jones is probably up there above either of them, Mm -hmm. which is saying something because I really, really liked season one and season three of Daredevil. Season two of Daredevil was really good, but I liked, I mean, the only ones that I actively have not liked were Iron Fist season one, Iron Fist, (laughs) and I'd probably put Punisher season two there and Luke Cage season two is like teetering on it. But there, there were enough redeeming moments to, moments it. to it that I think it keeps it out of there. I would agree with that, like, overall. Uh, I did. I think I liked Iron Fist Season 2 a lot more than you did, though. Yeah. Because I think, like, you... I Wait, Luke, say you, Luke Cage Season 2? Iron Fist Season 2. Iron Fist two. Season 2. I like Daredevil. <laughs> she watched the first season of Daredevil. First hey. season of Daredevil was pretty <laughs> solid. It was really, really yeah. good. Yeah, you watched... They did an Iron Fist Season 2. Oh, yeah, I'm just entirely blocking out season one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, because they, they did do the second season. It wasn't it wasn't terrible. It was better, but it had to have been. Yeah, yeah, it was significantly better than season one, but it was still middle of the pack. For yeah, the and uh, yeah, so, like, so I don't think I, yeah, I definitely don't think I actively disliked it, but. And, like, the ending was super awesome, and I'm really bummed that we're never going to get any more out of that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, so the last little bit here, uh, I did see uh, Aladdin this morning, uh, and loved it like it was fantastic uh, full price for sure in my opinion anyway and it might just be because like this is one of those things aladdin was my favorite disney movie as a kid mm-hmm. um it's something about wishes and robin williams like it, it, <laughs> i guess uh regardless i, I love that movie as a kid so i don't know it's one of those things i don't know if i loved it so much that they could do no wrong here or, you know, if I loved it enough that I would actually be critical of a live action remake of it, uh, regardless, you know, take that, take that how you will. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I think Will Smith did awesome as Genie. The CG didn't look near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, he very much did not try to do Robin Williams. 
which is Sweet. great. Mm-hmm. And, and basically in the same way that like Robin Williams was basically, you know, doing a really excited, ver- excitable version of himself as the genie, including making modern references. Uh, Will Smith kind of does the same thing, but it's just, you know, it's Will Smith being Will Smith as a genie Mm -hmm. and it works. Like I, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, the CG was kind of wonky every once in a while, uh, specifically around the tiger, but (sighs) the music scenes, the dance sequences were awesome. Especially if you like anything even closely related to Bollywood, uh, like the dance scenes were just cool. Uh, and yeah, the music was all phenomenal. Like I just, I really enjoyed this movie. I found myself grinning like an idiot more than a few (laughs) times. That makes me Uh, happy for Lion King coming up. Like, mm -hmm. it's just one of those like, okay, good. They're still not. (laughs) I'm so ready for Lion King. Crap in the bed on these. I'm also ready for Lion King. Lion King was definitely top tier Disney movie. Uh, and I mean, mean... I I liked Aladdin more, but. Oh, well. (laughs) Sorry, buddy. That's fine. I'm uh, just saying I didn't have a lot of Aladdin themed birthdays whenever I was a kid. I had I, like three straight Lion King ones. I understand that movie came out once. <laughs> <laughs> I got re released a few times. I wonder if I ever had themed No, but it, all right. It was like it was like three, four, and I five. Didn't. It wasn't like, like eighteen. I like the Little Mermaid a lot though. And Aladdin. And Lion King. I like a lot of them. Yeah, still need a lot of them. I'm scared to watch great. Aladdin though. Oh, it's don't be. It's really good. Okay, but like Aladdin was like my crush and this man is not hot enough to be Aladdin, so that upsets uh-huh. me. I guess that could be a problem for you, but I, I don't think he's an unattractive man in any he's way. He's not I bad, like- but he should be, like, <laughs> super high. He was like a childhood crush, and if he's coming to life, he needs to be hot. It hasn't just, worked out. I need to absolutely just point out the fact that she's more attracted to the cartoon. Like, that's just funny to me for some reason. Like, I don't know why it is, but that just makes me <laughs> I'm giggling inside a lot to that. And I also know a lot of people were worried about, oh, God, I'm trying to think of her, Nassim Petrad, Petrad? Just say Jasmine. Uh, no, is it that not is Jasmine? the girl from like SNL. Was yeah, a new girl. She was Allie in New Girl. Oh, okay. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think yeah. that's her name. What's she Petrod. I don't know her name. Though. Uh, she was a handmaiden for Princess Jasmine. I, mm. I need one of you with phones to look that up real quick. Okay, I'm, um, I'm, I'm on it, but oh, it's fine because I think I'm getting that name wrong. Regardless, no, no, you're saying it right, or you're you're as close as I'm going to get to it. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty straightforward. I don't. I just don't think that's. It doesn't sound right to my ear. Anyway, I know a lot of people are worried about her being in the movie. Um, no, you got it about as right as I was gonna get it. Yeah, Nassim Pedrad. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, I did say it right. Yay. Um, yeah, she was awesome. Like I, I think she did great. Uh, the dude playing Aladdin's a pretty good looking dude. He's like, all right. Yeah. I say he's all right, but my God, he's not like super high. He's not no Chris Pine. You're just upset that he's not Chris wearing the Pine? open vest. Pine, get out. <laughs> See, that's how frustrated I am. I can't even think straight. Because I think, what? like, he just doesn't have the open... Like, he has an open vest, but it's more realistic clothing as opposed to just being the purple vest by yeah, itself. Yeah, that's probably true. I'm about to too. say, yeah, <laughs> like, homeboy just can't be walking around in a vest all the time. It's same thing with, like, Jasmine's Why not in a... Uh, I don't know what you would call whatever she was wearing in the original The blue movie. pants and top, though. Like, yeah, the, I, basically the top that had sleeves and... But like, kind of. Yeah. But they were, like... It went right right down, like, just barely below boob. Yeah. <laughs> She's wearing a crop top. Leave it was alone. It was the loosest form of sleeve. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would even call it a crop top. Like, yeah. uh, but either way, like I, I don't get me wrong. Like I also had a crush on Jasmine as a kid. I was right there with you, just you know, the opposite side of the fence. Uh, and you know, Jasmine was awesome in this movie too. Like she obviously looked a bit more. They tried to get like a lot more realistic with it, and that's fine. Yeah, no, it it, it worked out well. Uh, it ended differently uh, than the movie. Like they actually changed up a bit of stuff. Hmm. Uh, from the, from the original cartoon, but I was fine with the changes they made, especially with you know how they did the ending. I was fine with. Yeah. Uh, overall, though, really solid movie. I definitely recommend seeing it in theaters. There was some stuff that was pretty clearly um, meant to look really neat in 3D, like the jump at you kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But you watched um, it in 2D, so it was just kind of. Yeah, like, I watched yeah. it in 2D, so it was just like, all right, well, that's kind of cool. So yeah, if if you if 3D movies are your thing, like it's almost certainly worth watching there. Because they definitely have, like, some moments in there you can tell, like, that was meant to be, you know, cool looking in 3D. Uh, why, which, which, which I you recently think, watched a movie in 3D. I don't want to say it was in-game, but I recently watched a movie in 3D that I accidentally bought 3D tickets to. Hey, someone did that. It was, in-game. It was in-game. Because <laughs> then I was really, I was lucked out because I had my contacts in because I wrestled the night before and I just slept in them. And that's not good for me, must but I do, I do that. Must be a guy thing to accidentally buy 3D tickets. 
They're so much more expensive. Like, I don't know how you do it accidentally. <laughs> uh, it was still like six twenty five for some reason. Like, it was still oh, cheap. That's it, weird. Yeah. Oh, well, anyway. But I know I recently accidentally bought tickets to a three D movie, and I was like, "Well, this is my life now." And some three D movies, like I personally prefer the ones that like there. It's three D to a point of immersion, mm-hmm. but not to the jump out at you stuff. Uh, but I know some oh, people like saying, yeah. it's it's a PG movie. Like I'm not exactly the target audience for this film and i know like the target audience for this film is going to absolutely go bonkers over that 3d stuff uh because it's you know as a little kid that's super fun but as an adult you're like all right come on but it wasn't like so bad that it ruined the 2d version in any way it was just there were like two or three it was two or three moments where you're like that was meant to be pop out 3d cool about to say they do that in marvel movies yeah, occasionally. Yeah, you'll, like you'll get like one or two, like, oh, Cap threw a shield right at me. That was yeah. weird. Why is that like a shot? Oh, I don't have the glasses on. Yeah, because yeah, because some people are watching this in 3D. All right, anyway, next portion of our podcast brought to you by our wonderful friends at Villainous Grounds in Perryville, Missouri. Stop by there for all of your comic book needs and, you know, coffee, delicious coffee. Uh, so we got a uh, a little bit of comic book news this week. First, uh, we got a trailer for Batman Last Night on Earth. Uh, I say a trailer. They actually did like a motion comic-ish trailer for what will be a uh, DC Black Label book. It was a really weird trailer. It was a really weird trailer. <laughs> it was Metal AF. Capullo's uh, doing the art for it? Yeah. There yeah, you it's go. An, it's, another, it's, it's Scott Snyder Capullo is the combo. Uh, so David, please put <laughs> this in my box. It's going to be a three issue miniseries, but they're all 48 uh, page prestige oh, cool. books, so they'll be like the Batman Damned series. Mm-hmm. Cool. Oh uh, yeah, then I'm definitely going to want that because I missed out on Damned. I think they still haven't released issue three of Damned, have they? No, it's like July, June or July, because yeah. we looked that up like a couple weeks, uh, like a couple trips worth ago, um, because we're like, man, the three hasn't come out. Like, yeah, did we just miss did, that? Yeah. Like, so we looked up the release date, and it was like, oh no, it's still like months away. Yeah, uh, because I, I know it got pushed back, but I didn't realize it got pushed back that far. I don't know if it got pushed back as much as this. That was the scatter. It was just that staggered. Wow, because it's only supposed to be three issues, and we got mm-hmm. the first two, like, you know, month, like, issue one, next month, issue two, and then issue three, like, I mean, that was like four months ago now, and issue two came out. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a minute. That's why I have just any of these miniseries or events, I just do not read until I have the last one in my hand. That's fair. Uh, but yeah, no, this one looks really cool. It's going to be, uh, it, it's all post-apocalyptic and stuff. Uh, in the trailer, Batman's carrying around Joker's head in a cage, because reasons... Uh, I did. Like, I did really like God of War, so I will be a fan of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's neat. Uh, yeah, and like I said, that trailer was just cool to watch. Like it was super metal. Um, and I say that like it was just you know had a big like heavy metal theme to it and everything. It just I don't know. It could be neat. Like I'm I'm gonna pick it up for sure. Yeah, it's one of those just like it's three issues, so right might as well even if they're going to be like you know Five, six, six seven dollars a piece uh, yeah it's that dc black label they're huge oh my like, gosh you have my middle west comics here i need to get those i'm about to get up right now before i forget <laughs> yeah, one issue is here i have another issue for you and that one you'll owe me on no <laughs> <laughs> i'll she, keep it <laughs> she is the best no. negotiator ever uh, you gotta pay me no well all right i'll just have andrew do my dirty work go get it for me Oh, I'll she just has take a... it back to David. <laughs> <laughs> take it back up to Villainous Grounds to get me a different comic you book. Won't Swap remember. it up. What do you mean I won't remember? It's in my bag. Of well, now, have, you now I'm gonna... have you met Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm now gonna text him. I know he won't forget, but now I'm just gonna make sure. That's <laughs> arrogance, I'll right? Go, there. I'll just go up there tomorrow. Like, <laughs> I'll get this taken That's care. Are they open on Memorial Day tomorrow? Yeah, till noon, I think. Yeah, oh, cool. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, three issue, forty eight page. Uh, we don't have an actual release date for it yet. Soon ish. I'm guessing maybe who knows uh, if it's if it's anything else like DC's event books the first issue might come out this week and then the last issue will be out in sometime in 2027 yeah I was about to say y'all on uh, 2020 I forgot, what year. I forgot what year it was yeah, it's fine. yeah. Uh, so yeah no that'll be really cool we've also got another Batman news Tom King is being uh, taken off of Batman early Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, he had the much touted like you know, 100 issue run like he had a plan for 100 issues mm-hmm. um they're not particularly thrilled with the sales right now uh even so, though it's still their highest selling book yeah dalton what yes. issue are, are they on uh, they they're, just released 71 but they're gonna the pull one. they're he's gonna be pulled at 85 yeah so it, he'll basically be going through yes so they yes they are they are removing him 15 issues early what yep. the all right to work on a 12 issue series <sighs> Uh, that's going to be just Batman Catwoman. But 
and a are lot of people married? some people are they never that's got a, married that's uh, I was gonna say that was a spoiler but yeah sorry I'm yeah no, sorry. It, never, it never happened okay no I mean I like I read it that was like issue 50 oh but, yeah. well yeah, then I feel less bad about they it they got asking. spoiled in the newspaper <laughs> oh well then I feel <laughs> bad I don't was. feel bad at all I say bad it was like no it, they, the way the way that turned out was not fun you for can anybody tell that I do not read Batman uh, and the most recent arc he's been in like five issues he was locked in a nightmare world well, two of those issues is the a crossover event with Flash. I actually forgot that was a, a yeah. thing. But. Like, cause it's it's, but it has been like three or four issues of this story arc yeah. dedicated to it. Dedicated he, to him being only, in a nightmare. Yeah, he only recently got out, but it, but like even that was part of those like four. I so I think it was four issues of just that. Cause yeah, they put it starts and then there's this two this two issue crossover with Flash. That, gotcha. Ugh. That I I know I skipped them I own them I did but I too because I'm not there and I'm not caught up in Flash yet. Gotcha. So like uh, I will probably read them, but eventually not. Yeah, not until I get caught up with where Flash is now. So yeah. question: How's Batman up until issue forty-seven? Is it pretty good? Yeah. I I mean I'm, I mean like I so I'm looking at the universe online and I'm like how much can I read? We're and... we are apparently in the minority of people who have really enjoyed all of King's Run. Um, right around the wedding stuff and the wedding itself is where a lot of people turned, which I get, and I'm not going to fault them for. And there are a handful of filler issues. It's just those filler issues tend to be fun enough yep. that I kind of give them a pass. Um, it's this current arc is the only time that I have genuinely found myself thinking, still? Yeah. Wow. Same. Let's uh, let's get moving here. Yeah, because it's not like it's bad. It's just slow. And there was a couple, like, the last issue... Uh, where he finally got out of the dream was just like it it didn't make much sense like it was one of those things it felt like filler mm -hmm. like it was a, it was a reject from an earlier arc and they went ahead like he was like you know what instead i actually really like this hmm. um, and apparently tom king has had a lot of problems with just like the big honchos up there anyway to a point where like he got his editor fired for batman um yeah and like they're just you know he because he has his plan and that's what he's going to do. And anybody that wants to tell him differently, like, no. Because like, that's what is... they hired him for. Right, Like, exactly. he pitched this plan, so they knew what was coming. Like, it's They not knew like, what they were getting. Yeah, yeah. it's not like this, is, this should be a surprise to him. So it's, it's, it's really crappy that he's being taken off, especially with, like, that much time left to go. Yeah, if they, yeah. If they wanted to cut him at issue 24, I'd be like, well, I mean, if it's already kind of being lackluster and mm -hmm. you have 75 issues, dude has... He's gonna have fifteen issues left. Just let him finish the the year out. So well, kinda... he's finishing the year out. Like eighty five well, no, will finish, take him to finish, finish the, the arc out. The yeah. arc out. My and, bad. And that's what I think. Like I said, the big theory is that because starting next year they're gonna go back to uh, once, once yeah once monthly. Like no book will be twice monthly anymore, which is good. And that means they're gonna be bigger books. They're probably gonna up the price again. Yep. Uh, but they're going to be bigger books, so they're giving Tom twelve or Tom King twelve issues with his Batman Catwoman run. So presumably that's going to be enough for him to finish out his hundred issues. He just won't get to issue number one hundred. The bummer, like I'm, I really hope that like he then just separates because the Catwoman stuff and essentially the Bane stuff has all been interwoven. Yeah. So I'm kind of thinking maybe they'll separate it a little bit to where okay he has now these. 14 issues to clear out the Bane, st like to clear out that plan. Yeah, because I haven't read issue 71 yet. Yeah, I haven't so, either. Yeah. Um, so, but then he can do whatever that Catwoman story he wanted to tell could be its own thing. But it doesn't seem like they, they like they already had artwork ready to go. This doesn't seem like it's a spur of the moment thing. So I kind of feel like we're just not going to get a, he's just going to have to rush and cram that extra 15 ish like he's just in half the run yeah and like that's definitely a possibility i was just thinking that uh this was the route they were going to take because they want that you know the two batman checks a month mm -hmm. so or i guess three since detectives technically a thing they don't want to lose a batman check each month yeah and they do want to go back to the once monthlies mm -hmm. so they just will split the book off that way like I could see that being DC's plan, yeah. Uh, and then, like I said, hopefully, because nothing says DC like, "Hey, we're not happy with the numbers we're getting." Okay, well, let's just up the price of what the people who are buying our books. Yep. that'll make up the difference. So yeah, and I mean, I'm gonna buy them. I'm gonna uh, buy some of them. I'm gonna buy Batman, and then I'm gonna buy Batman Catwoman. Probably. See, and I don't even know. Like, I'm not a hundred. I probably will, but I won't be happy about it. 
because <laughs> uh, it's the, really going to depend on like how like where tom king's run ends up taking us because the whole 100 thing was supposed to like completely upend batman like that was the whole like this is a hundred we are building to this giant batman like event thing like not even like an event in the sense of crossovers but like there is going to be some fundamental like yeah craziness Stuff. around bat the batman character as we know it yeah not a dc wide event just a batman event like yeah. and like an event's a bad word because it yeah, I don't think it's gonna like it may not affect like the other bat books or anything. Mm -hmm. But it's, but it's, a, it's gonna this be is, a it was lore supposed thing. to be like a, it's totally gonna upend the character as we know it is like the the way that they were plugging it. And okay. so who depend we haven't we don't know who's gonna take over for it. We don't know if that's even still gonna be a thing. It's bet you anything Bendis is gonna take over Batman. Why well, I, I already don't feel good. Why would you <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because oh I just God. I feel like DC is gonna do that. Like as much money as they're paying that man, they're just gonna put him on everything they can. Yeah, Bat but Con King is still outselling him. Yeah, well, it's because <laughs> right now he's on Superman. Superman will never outsell Batman. Uh, if you you got Bendis writing Superman for the first time in a gajillion years, that shoulda. Yeah, I mean at the very so least. So maybe Bendis isn't the cure all. No, he's DC. Dead. You mother. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, anyway moving on to, to i'm about like between marvel and limited and just like this nonsense i'm about to just switch to marvel yes like joy god this sucks oh <laughs> uh, all right so yeah the last oh yeah no oh, we already got that dc news i included that in there huh the once monthly thing gwenpool going to a little bit of marvel news uh She's getting a new solo run now that West Coast Avengers is done. It's going to be Gwynpool Strikes Back. be a five-issue miniseries starting August 7th. Uh, Leah Williams is writing with David Baldian as the, uh, the, or on art. Uh, looks like somehow in the first issue, she I guess the idea is that uh, for this arc is her entire character for a while has been like, I don't want to get you know erased, like fall into the, the forgotten characters of comic books. Uh, which happens like that's the, that's her whole shtick. So she's trying to do something major to really like put her name in comic books. And the uh, the first cover shows her like unmasking Peter Parker, uh, hmm. <laughs> or unmasking I guess Spider Man that's, Peter, into Peter Parker. I mean that's funny. Like I do genuinely think that's adorable. But like Gwynpool is like surprisingly fun. Like it's not a good read, but it's a really fun read. Mm -hmm. uh, because it, it turns out, you know, obviously she's a very self-aware. It's 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 a play on Deadpool, uh, where like he th he thinks he's in a comic book universe because he's crazy. It just happens that he's right. Yeah. Uh, she's just right that she's in a comic yeah, book. Yeah, she universe. knows I, that she's in a comic book because she was sucked into a comic book from her real life. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, she walks around knowing like everybody's secret identities and stuff. There was one point in her comic book where like she sees Thor, like Jane Foster. And, you know, she's not paying attention to her, so Gwen just yells, Jane, and uh, that's the, hilarious. <laughs> the slow turnaround that I'm sure it was of just, what? Whoa, what did you just say? <laughs> uh, that would be me on there, right to the face. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> she, That character's dead if I'm if I'm Thor at that point, just like, fing. And she, like, it happens a few other times where so, like, she just mentions people's real names because she's trying to get their attention. This is why She accidentally calls... Uh, Miles, Miles, while mm -hmm. he's in the Spider-Man outfit. This is why I would never be a superhero, because she pulled that to me one time. I would go full <laughs> Punisher once. Just because my secret identity would say a secret. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that could be a super fun book. And it's a five-issue miniseries, so I'll probably end up grabbing it. Yeah, that sounds uh, neat. I like the premise of that a lot. Yeah, it's cool. All right, uh, this next portion of the podcast is brought to you by Press Start to Join. You can find all of their content at ps2jshow.com. Uh, including their social media links and their all of their podcasts. Last Wednesday of each month is the History of Gaming episode. I don't know what uh, this one's going to be. Normally Josh has told me by now. Uh, but the last one they did was Dota, and uh, that's definitely a, a big deal in the history of gaming, so certainly check that out. Uh, even though Battle Royale has all but replaced the MOBA as the, uh, the premier game, I guess. Yeah, game choice, that works. Anyway. Uh, 2019 Call of Duty will be Modern Warfare. So that's dumb. Yeah, thank God they've moved to next gen. Uh, because like the number of people, like I would say, it was already difficult trying to explain to people when they came into GameStop when I worked there, uh, which Call of Duty they wanted. Yeah. Because they would see, especially when like Modern Warfare Three came out, mm -hmm. people would see Call of Duty Four Modern Warfare. And just nothing could... It's like you just put advanced calculus in front of them. 
You see the four equation. bigger than yeah. three. Yeah, four bigger than three. This one newer, yes. <laughs> Why this one only eight dollars? Other one sixty. Because <laughs> it yeah. was Call of Duty Four: Modern Warfare. That's Call of Duty: Modern Warfare Three. I'm really sorry, it's dumb, but that's what it is. <laughs> well, I mean, they isn't aren't, isn't the remaster happening this year still? Uh, I have no so idea. So, isn't there going to be Call of Duty: Modern Warfare remastered? We already got that. Did we? Yeah. Okay. That that happened with the last Infinity War game. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, Infinite wasn't that a while ago? Okay. Yeah, Infinite Warfare. Is had three the... getting remastered then? I have no idea. I was thought that we were getting two a that remaster. Got remastered? Uh, with that one, or is it just? I would love for two to be remastered yes. so much, but Please. no, it was just the first one that got remastered. I don't want any new Call of Duty games. I want that remastered. Or Please. the that one and the first Black Ops. Yeah, that one wasn't bad too. Yeah, those two were back to back. Like that was, that was good time for Call because it, it went uh, Modern Warfare, and then uh, World at War, Modern Warfare Two, and then Black Ops. Mm-hmm. And I and like Modern like, Warfare Three as well. Modern Warfare Three was good. Two. Was two was my jam. Jeez, I played that so much. We put so much time into Modern Warfare yes. Two. It was nuts. Same. Um, but yeah, no, I I would love for them to remaster Modern Warfare Two. But no, in Infinite Warfare, if you got like the big hundred dollar edition, you got <laughs> uh, the Modern Warfare remastered for free. Uh, they eventually did start selling that one separately, but I remember for a while. Uh, yeah, I just ended up getting a used copy here on Xbox One because you couldn't do this on PS4, and you would just have access to that uh, Modern Warfare remake. Yeah. But anyway, so yeah, Modern Warfare again. Like it's just gonna be straight called <laughs> I Modern hope Warfare. That's the name of it, Modern Warfare again. <laughs> no, they're gonna switch it to be Modern Warfare Call of Duty. <laughs> Modern. So, just to change it up. Modern Warfare Four Call of Duty. <laughs> Call of Duty point oh, five. I'm I, buying it. I ain't buying it this year now. I just need them to start getting, like, I. eventually they're going to just start using the year, and that just needs to happen. That would make like, things a lot like easier. Like NFL? Call, yeah, exactly, like NFL. So, like, this year would be Call of Duty 2019, Call of Duty 2020 But next you year. know good and well they would do the anniversary, like Madden 25. Go screw yourself. That was Madden, like, 2013. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently Modern Warfare 2 is getting the remaster this year. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm, we can are you excited about uh, for- campaign only <laughs> what so they did like multiplayer only for modern warfare remastered and now they're doing Take campaign only for Take modern warfare 2 back. remastered because there's there's a there's a <laughs> P- there's the the peggy list uh listing has it oh my god uh, that's so stupid. It better be. But false. the listing, the listing is only like so. They may only have it like rated as like may have only rated the campaign, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, because well, it's also they, only they listed. All, they it, don't rate on uh, online multiplayer. Yeah, and it's so. also only listed for PS4, which is That's more why. than likely not true. So they could ha- basically the remaster for Modern Warfare Two could be um, camp like it could include the campaign because they wouldn't rate the multiplayer. Right. So That's fine. let me Just see if I can find more, mm-hmm. if I can find anything else. Though on I say that as much as I loved Modern Warfare 2 and as much as I played it, I'm now having flashbacks of uh, akimbo shotguns and I'm thinking maybe it's not such a good no, idea. No, because I loved, I repped the AK and then the shotgun as my secondary and unstoppable forces. Did, did you have the akimbo shotguns? Is I don't that... think so. I think it was the Spaz. Oh yeah, cause, oh, yeah, the Spaz-12. Spaz-12, yeah. yeah. Well, because you could akimbo that one, too. Or no, not the Spaz-12. You could only akimbo the uh, the lever action. I don't remember what it mm. was. And then the the little the, the sawed-off double barrel. Oh, yeah. Uh, you could akimbo both of those, and they were just broken. The only time it got broken for me is when everyone started using the noob tubes for everything. Oh, noob tube had been a problem in Call of Duty for a while. Yeah, but for a long time it wasn't too bad, and then you'd like walk out of the spawn and be dead. Yeah. And I was like, Aah. yeah. All right, so uh, we got DC Universe is coming to Switch. I'm excited so. for that. Yeah. I I jumped in very briefly on PS4 a excited. while back. No good. Uh, didn't get. I think it did the thing though that I don't like in MMOs where, okay, you have to kill this guy, but he spawns in the same instance for everybody. And if you don't get the kill specifically you, then you just have to wait until like, he until like tight like that kind of thing. Because um, I didn't get very far into it, I also didn't really understand it because I was playing with someone who was like way into it, and they were just like going. So and that's yeah, it's never a fun way so, to play an MMO. So I'm kind of excited for this to come to Switch. I have yes. bought it and started it on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. 
mean, it was free, it was to, free play to play on. by yeah. then. Oh, yeah, I know. And it's one of those, like, I, I and I will start it and play it for Switch for a little bit. I know I will. It'll last me until maybe Fire Emblem comes out on Switch, which is July, by the way. Oh, snip snap. Wait, right? when does it come out? When does DC Universe Is it going to be, like, I don't know. normal, like, Path of Radiance? Mm-hmm. Bless. Yeah, no, it's going to be a straight-up Fire Emblem game, not like Heroes. Yes. Uh, like, it'll be an actual Fire Emblem game. My child is getting for, kicked off the you. Switch for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, uh, it, it, like, summer is what they've said, so it cool. could yeah, be, like, July, August. Mm-hmm. But I'm excited to try it, like, especially if, like, I can con, like, a couple people to jump in. Yeah. With me, it could be fun. I mean, if, yeah, if, like, I'm, I, that's the way I've always been with video games. If I've got friends playing it, I'll play it with them. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter what it is. Uh, I just like playing with my friends. Uh, but if everybody stops playing it, then I get salty, especially if I <laughs> bought it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so we got a, uh, speaking of playing stuff with my friends, though, that I'm really excited about, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 got another trailer. The X-Men trailer, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, we got to see a that. bunch of the X-Men go at it. and then, hmm. Although the two that we didn't mm-hmm. get to yeah. see, Colossus and Cyclops. Yeah. Shannon's real upset about Cyclops not Which being shown. Doesn't mean too, that he's not in but, it. Yeah. Right. Like, I don't know. Because they did say and more. Yeah, that's the thing that that's yeah. just my because it's like, does it mean more X Men or does it mean just more characters? Yeah, it's one of those things you just kinda have to hope. Like, did they not show Cyclops? Because well, of course Cyclops is in the he game. Has we don't to need to show him. Right. Yeah. I was really. Why would you think Quicksilver? Like, of course, we're you, people are more worried about Quicksilver. <laughs> like, yes, Quicksilver is in the game. Here, we'll show you in gameplay. D- Cyclops is in. I was hoping for Ice Man. Did we get Gambit? No, uh, I, don't think so. I haven't seen I it. It was it was either. Psylocke, Nightcrawler, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch, Magneto. Balls, I forgot who. Yeah, was I mean, there's a, like sure. there was a bunch Obviously, of characters. Yeah. Wolverine, yeah. Storm seen. was in there. We yeah. Got, yeah. But I mean, it looks it, I, this when the the focus on the gameplay, and like you said, like playing with more people. Like I am still excited for it. I just I need to get that MCU out of my idea, like the MCU mm-hmm. idea out of my head. Of like, no, this is a different thing. I don't know why I can do that with comics, even though with comics it's very like I was messaging you the other week, like going back and rereading Thor, yeah, and just like, hey, so Asgard's just gone, but not in the same way it is in the MCU. Uh, like it's different. It's still there, but not really. Also, <laughs> he's got way more than two siblings. He's got <laughs> a million siblings that I didn't know about. Yeah, apparently, Odin was quite the player. Also, turns Don't out surprise oh, me. Uh, I'm totally blanking on the actor's name. Sir Anthony Hopkins, Odin, and comic Odin are wildly different people. Yes. Intensely different. Uh, yes. And so, like, reading so like the first interaction that I read of Odin, I'm like, F this dude. So yeah. I need to I need to get my head right and just watch a bunch of, like, gameplay. I need, but what I really need from it is just a full, hey, here's an entire roster breakdown. Here's a 20-minute video of every character, what they'll do, how they'll play. And maybe some secrets. Oh, like be. you don't have to tell us the secrets, but like, you know, yeah, say there me, are, there's just, more happening. Yeah, just g- give me. I just I want to know who's in it. Give me a concrete list. It's like that just, roster reveal of Mortal Kombat. Just like just give me the list. Yeah, I uh, just got a twitch because I put uh, and more for your Ultimate Team, and I thought EA for a second, and I got really angry. Like I just saw Ultimate Team. That's all I needed. Those two words put together, and I got a little mad. Yeah, um, yeah, because I know like my favorite characters are all there, so I'm I'm good to go. Uh, so well, except I need to see which X Men uh, or X Men. We've seen be Iron Fist, it. haven't we? Uh, yeah, Iron Fist is definitely in it. Okay, uh, Luke like, Cage not, is definitely if, in it. If you're not giving me Iron Fist and Gambit, I'm or, 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 yeah, sorry, if, if Gambit, Iron Fist or, or Gambit. Gambit like, so you're getting kind of because Gambit over is that. probably my Hi, favorite X Men. <laughs> so like, and I would really like X twenty three to be in there because I like her a lot. Mm-hmm. That would be like um, a fun. Even if they did like a palette swap where it was just like you have Wolverine, or if you beat all of Wolverine's comic book missions, you can have a you skin, can be, yeah, Laura. skin, yeah. yeah. I just wanted I wanted Iceman because he was fun to play in the original games. Well, like That's fair. I'm just I've got uh, Spider Man, Daredevil, and Cap. Good to go. Yes, Cap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or I also played a lot of Colossus too. I like Colossus a lot. He's yeah. he's definitely my, one of my top tier X Men. But I guess if they don't give me that, I will play as Luke Cage. I know we've if we've got Nightcrawler, like I really like Nightcrawler. But if like I know we're well past it, so I don't think we'll get her. But like, I really want Jane Foster Thor, because I just finished that run, and I'm like, I like her a lot. So Odin sounds cool, but I really like, I like her. A lot. If it was a different thing, I said this like this would be the perfect time to do a lot of DLC for Ultimate Alliance, 
Because, like, those games came out pre-DLC for the most part. Like, I know that... We had, like, the Juggernaut the, for the Marvel's exclusives, lines, but, too. like, we didn't really have a lot of DLC where, like, now it's, like, this game can be supported for two or three years if they give us a character pack every other month. Yeah, and maybe some extra story content. Yeah. Because, you know, there's, a lot of inf- there's a lot of stuff out there they can do. Because, again, I don't know anything about making video games, but this cannot be the absolute hardest game to make. <laughs> Especially the way it... Like, it, it looks like a slight upgrade... From Ultimate Alliance 2 to this. Yeah. It's a, it's a completely um, different art style, but like... As far as gameplay and stuff. Is all yeah. Right. Like it doesn't look much different than Ultimate Alliance 2. Because I'll still jump on Ultimate Alliance from time to time and play. Because I have them on my PS4. If Ultimate Alliance 2 there. Did they ever let you get Juggernaut in Ultimate Alliance 2? Like yeah, in, in no, he remakes? was... Yeah, he was on. he was there on... I don't think it was right away, but they patched him in because we were like, hey. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, okay, because I was thinking, like, because I know it wasn't there immediately. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because that was just, boy, what a crap show. Because I finally got to uh, play as a Juggernaut because I did beat Ultimate Alliance 2 on my PS4 because I was like, I can play as Juggernaut now. Because I wanted to play as Juggernaut real bad in Ultimate Alliance 2 when it, like, on Xbox 360, mm-hmm. but uh, we ran out of digital codes. Uh, How that happened? So How sad. does that happen? Thanks, GameStop. That's true. Stupid game. It was a GameStop exclusive, and GameStop ran out of digital codes for <laughs> it. Are you kidding me, GameStop? That sounds about that sounds about right. Yeah. Anyway, last bit of news we got here: uh, Borderlands Three. Uh, and yeah, anytime I get even the slightest bit of news, folks, it's gonna be on Nerd Up because I am hyped for this game. Uh, we're we're supposed to be getting a look at another world and another Vault Hunter. In uh, at E3, so I don't know if we're gonna get. They haven't said if it's gonna be Flack or um, oh god, what's the the other remaining one? I'm blanking on it. Last second, because I keep just thinking Uh, of Amara, Moe's, Moe's, yeah, yeah, Uh, Flack or Moe's. I don't Mm -hmm. know which one of the two it's gonna be. Uh, I'm glad you you pointed that out because in my brain it was they were revealing like a fifth Vault Hunter. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I was like, they're giving us another one, which I guess. Borderlands 2, you ended up getting two more different Vault Hunters because I think Gage yeah, was we got a Gage and Krieg. Gage mm-hmm. was a pre-order bonus. Yes, and then Krieg, you could he was just buying like yeah, he was a year DLC. After five dollars DLC yeah. or something like that. Yeah, uh, but no, I like I I I, I don't know which one. I'd, I'd be happy with seeing either because like same. especially if it's to the to the extent that we got of the first two uh, a couple weeks ago with the gameplay reveal. Yeah, but, for sure. I mean, yeah, anything else that they want to show us, just hopefully Randy Pitchford's not the one doing it, and hopefully he just stays away from Twitter. Like, yeah. he's been good the last couple weeks, but... Because Borderlands has kind of, like, exited the news cycle a little bit, so Randy hasn't been there. Yeah. Uh, oh, but, no. <laughs> yeah, right. But, yeah, no, I I, uh, I kind of want to see Flack because uh, he's a character that I'm really curious about. Mm-hmm. I don't know how like how he's going to work at all, mm-hmm. and uh, I want to know. Flack's the one with the, the, anim- the Beastmaster, yes. right? Yeah, he's the Beastmaster mm-hmm. class, and I think that could be really cool. So I want it. I want that to want that trailer to hit so I can figure it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I would be fine with either, and I would also be fine with like if I misinterpreted this and they are unveiling a fifth character and basically doing the same thing they did with like the uh, the Mechromancer. And I just feel like 2. they. I feel like they would have like told us by now. Like this wouldn't be the hey we're revealing that would be the headline of we're revealing a fifth. Vault Hunter, not we're getting a character breakdown of another Vault Hunter. Yeah, that's what I would think too. Uh, and yeah, we don't know much about the, like. I want to know how many worlds there are going to be in this game, because obviously we've seen two at this point, uh, and yeah, we're about to see a, at least a third. I know they said that there is a significant amount of stuff to do on several worlds. Sweet. So yeah, no, I am stoked for this game. And I can move ahead of you guys, or you guys can move ahead of me, and it's not going to matter. Uh, That's also cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, like it'll you know, it'll auto balance. Like Ace was saying the other day, it does the math for us, and like, <laughs> it has the split loot streams, so it's still worthwhile for the higher level person to come back and help. Uh, and they're not going to just overpower everything. Like in our replay, like you know, whenever we were doing Borderlands Two, uh, we were running through that Firehawk quest, like the uh, the second one to get the legendary shield, the uh, toilet paper. I'm assuming. Uh, you for you and Trevor just tearing through them. Oh yeah. yeah, uh, like me in particular because I was just I had um the I'm playing the Necromancer and I have the 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 spec where uh, every time uh, Deathclaw gets a kill, it resets. It, it, yeah, it, like it resets his timer. 
So yeah, I had, you just kept it out the entire time. Yeah, no, he never went away. Like I started at the beginning of the run to go all the way through it, and uh, yeah, he never left. We just kind of kept rolling. So how was that tour of the Firehawk, <laughs> Asa? It's my least favorite way to play games. I know it is. Yeah. Yeah, no, and I felt really bad about it. What I was my my intention was that we would do that really quick. Asa would get an awesome legendary shield, and it would boost him up to close to me and Trevor's level. But you forget how long that Firehawk level actually takes. No, no. I knew exactly how long it takes, and that's why I was hoping it was really going to boost the crap out of his level. He got one level out of the entire quest line. And that legendary shield was worse than the one I already had equipped. Yeah. Yeah, because, well, I mean, the bonuses are what you want with that legendary shield. Yeah, it's uh, it's Because it pulses out the fire, are, yeah. Its base stats aren't great, but it's killing mobs of enemies for a long time in the game. Um, I already sold it. Oh God! <laughs> I know. I like the higher. I like the higher numbers way more. Yeah, like that's way. That's, that's way more important to me. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was my intention. It failed miserably. Asa got one level out of that entire quest line. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, so then, yeah, I just toured him around that quest line for nothing, and I felt terrible at the end of it. I was like, man, this was supposed to boost him up, and then we could just continue for me and Trevor's save. And, yeah, he got to level 13. He needed to be level at least 16 to be able to have fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Anyway. But 3, we're not going to have that problem. We are not no. going to have that problem in Borderlands 3, and I am excited about it. Going to play it. It's going to be fun. Please be fun. I can't handle another <laughs> disappointment this year. No. I don't think – I think Borderlands is very much like I trust them. Agreed. Yeah, yeah the amount of hands-on stuff that we've seen from people – like makes me feel really good i haven't seen i'm pretty comfortable right now i'm not worried the updating because i was telling jesse the other day like one of the people who did the the pre-show for that gameplay reveal Mm -hmm. fran mirabella he does he's a twitch streamer and he spends a lot of time on destiny like he still streams and raids destiny every week so in destiny for all of its faults the gunplay was never something to complain about like it was probably one of the best console shooters that's ever been made shooting mechanics wise and like how the shooting feels Mm -hmm. um and so he still plays that, and him playing Borderlands said it felt really, really good. That's good. So that that has a lot of weight with me. So it's like, okay, at least the, the gunplay is going to be a lot of fun. Yep. And we'll have running guns. Oh, the running guns. They're going to be a little TD or. A little TD or. They're going to be a little army. Their little, little arms. Run out of ammo so quick. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for us, guys. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time.